Hey everyone, it's John here from Cast and Shoot Outdoors. Uh, just got back from a pheasant hunt we did here and uh, wanted to bring uh, some videos in with uh, cooking. And been asked quite a few times here uh, if I would start incorporating some cooking into my videos, so we're gonna start. Um, in this case, like I said, we got some pheasant legs and we're gonna show you how we make them into a cream of wild rice uh, pheasant and mushroom soup. So stick around, I'll show you what I'm doing on that one. So we're gonna walk this little area right here quick. Yep, just warm them up. Yep, well, just to get the dogs in. Well, this is where sometimes, here, here. Turn off the energy. Yep, off the get them calmed down a little bit. So we're, what we're going to do is we're just going to do a little walk and a walk back, then we'll take that first roll all the way down along oh, the woods. So yeah, let's try yep. to keep the dogs in the middle, somebody on the outside, Bob or Brian over here. Mayla here. Mayor Amp. You and I try to get in the middle. Yep. Mayor Amp. Mayla here. Bob, you stay right here. We're going to have somebody down on the end of the outside. Yep. We're just going to go to the trees right there. Yep, we're just going to push through this. Bailey. Yeah, and I'll take Rem right here. Brian, you jump next to me. We're just going to push this real quick. Then we're going to come back and take that first row of corn all the way down. We're going to try and keep them out of the woods. Come here, Rem. Come on, Rem. Let's go. Hunt him up. Bailey, here. They're chuckers. It's easy. Hey. They might jump five feet from you. Let them get out a little bit. Remy. Remy. Bob, you see it? Okay, come on, Rem. Nice shot, Bobby. Come on, Rem. Come on, Rem. Come on, Rem. Let's find it. I got it. I got it. Straight ahead, Rem. Straight ahead, Rem. Good job, Rem. Come here. No bird. Okay. Yep, no bird. No bird. The other one's up here. Rem, right there. Rem, hunt him up. Find it. Rem, find it. Find it. Good girl. Good girl. Nope, nope. Drop. Good girl. Nope, no bird. There you go. So we're in the back again. Those are easy. Hey, Bailey, Remy's on one. Thank you. Thank you. Bailey's coming with the one I just shot. Come on, Rem. Right here. Remy's on the other one. Oh, yay. Nope. Come on, Rem. Guess what you get? Yep. Hold me up. <laughs> Good job. Drop. 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 Funny, <laughs> Bailey went after yours and Remy went after there. <laughs> I did that because I already got two. <laughs> it's a problem when you have a dog. You become the Sherpa of the dead ones. Good girl, Ram.
Good girl, Stella. Good girl. Fetch up. Fetch up. Come on, fetch up, Stella. Come. Hey, here. Good girl, Stella. Good girl. Here, give. Give. Oh, good girl. Good girl. No. Dead bird. Good girl. Come on, hunt him up. I think that's why that one fell right here. Come on. Come on. Fetch it up. Yeah. Two of them came over. I got one. The other one flew over the fence. Good girl, Stell. Come here. Good girl. That's my good girl. So here I got a bunch of pheasant thighs uh, that I've deboned already. Uh, normally I would throw the legs and all in and then uh, put her in the, uh, the stew pot and boil it for a while to get the, the good broth out of it, bone broth. But in this case I don't have bones. So we're going to do things a little bit differently and I'll be cutting these up into small pieces and then I'll do a quick fry and then we'll boil it from there. We just want to cut these up into small bite-sized pieces so we can fry them up just like so. I won't do the whole thing in front of you, but I'll just show you a few of them that I'll do. But again, these are the thighs uh, from pheasants. They, uh, the legs get, I don't know, they're pretty stringy. So you don't, uh, you don't eat the very bottom parts, or at least not much of it. Uh, you're pretty much relegated to the thighs, but again, um, I've already deboned them and I don't have the bones to make the broth with so I'll do a little bit here with the meat and such but we'll still get it but we'll probably have to add a little soup uh, I shouldn't say soup but chicken broth to it so there you go you got a nice little pile of uh, cubed up meat we're gonna add that to the pot so here's your ingredients uh, for what you're putting in the stock pot. You got your pheasant, you got your onion, and I got a, a half of a large onion. I would use a, a one whole medium onion or two smalls, but in this case it was a large one. Um, I had three carrots and one sock of celery on this. So to start off, I'm gonna get this uh, pan going here. I'm going to be adding some infused olive oil. We like the rosemary and flute, uh, infused olive oils, um, but you can use whatever you want on that. <clears throat> so I'll be browning, browning that pheasant in this first, and then from there I'm going to uh, Put the onion in there too as well and the celery and the carrots to get it all um, mixed up and a little bit of uh, softening going on for the vegetables. So I add a little bit of seasoning salt just at first because we'll be putting plenty of salt in there yet. Mix this all up nice and good, salt and pepper. Not too much on the pepper right to start with, but again, I want to basically brown this meat, saute these onions and peppers and everything down just a touch.
At this point, I like to add a little uh, garlic too. It, and uh, normally I would have done about two, three cloves of garlic because I like garlic, but I forgot to cut that all up and chop it up. So I'm gonna cheat a little bit and just use some, some dried uh, garlic powder here. And uh, we want a little of that flavoring, but we have more to come yet. Yeah, Okay, now that I got my uh, meat browned, I'll be adding my water here just to uh, get some stock going out of this. So I'm just adding about six cups of broth, or six cups of water for some broth. I just wanna barely cover it. I'm gonna let that simmer and uh, get all that uh, meat and and those carrots soften down a little bit, but like I said, I'm trying to make a really good broth here as much as I can without having those bones. And then we'll add some more, th some more ingredients afterwards. So it's been about a half hour and I've, uh, I've let this um, stock all kind of boil down a little bit, give us some good flavoring on the broth. And we're gonna be adding uh, our rice next. So you can see it's it's uh, come down quite a bit through evaporation and then, like I said, everything soaking up a little bit and we got some good broth going there. So since this is boiled down a little bit, I'm going to be adding one more cup of water at this point. And our directions for the rice had said uh, one cup of water to half a cup of rice. Um, but because I'm only gonna use a quarter cup of wild rice and then another quarter cup of the uh, long grain rice, we're gonna be adding a little bit more liquid to this at the end. So that's why I didn't add the full two cups or that they were asking on the white rice. So we'll go with this for right now, bring it back up to a nice simmer. And uh, once that gets soften and that white uh, wild rice gets going then we'll get the rest of the ingredients so at this point now your uh, your wild rice has had about 30 minutes 40 minutes to simmer uh, I usually take and test mine and make sure that that wild rice is done and uh, nobody wants to chew on a sliver if you don't have it have it finished uh, so now I'm going to turn around I'm going to add the last of my ingredients here and then we'll go from there. So at this point, because I didn't get uh, the bone broth in there, I'm gonna add a little bit more chicken stock just because I, I like the flavor of it uh, a little bit better. Um, so we're gonna add about a cup here of chicken stock. I'm going to add my mushrooms to the mix here. I cut up probably about three good portobello mushrooms, baby portobello mushrooms, as you can see. Stir this in. Again, there was three, three to four baby portobello mushrooms in there. So at this point, we've added that chicken stock here. We don't want it to come back up to a, a big boil, but we do have to get it to kind of simmer here. Because now we're gonna be adding our thickener and our cream for the creamy part, the best part. So, <clears throat> I've got, uh, I got some water at this point. I'm going to be adding, adding a teaspoon of cornstarch. Now you can use flour if you want. I like cornstarch because we're going to want to thicken this here. But at this point, your rice and that should have given it a little bit of uh, starch itself. But I want to add about a half cup 
or I shouldn't say half a cup, but half a, half a pint of half and half here. Um, this one we had used earlier. So that's gonna give us our cream part. Mix that up a little bit here. I do wanna get this up just a touch yet. Get that heat back up. Cause then we're gonna add our starch, corn starch in there to uh, thicken it up. So when you see your, uh, <clears throat> your soup is starting to bubble a little bit, we're gonna pour the rest of this thickener in here. Cause I like mine a little bit thicker. And uh, mix it in. You don't wanna get that thing boiling because at that point, you got, uh, you got that half and half, or if you got milk in there, you don't want that to, to scorch on the bottom of the pan. So just add a little bit here at this point. Look at that, doesn't that look good? You got your pheasant and uh, mushroom soup with wild rice and a cream base. Just unbelievably tasty. Okay, we're gonna have Tracy taste this and see what she thinks. Oh, it's really good. Tastes yeah. like tastes like gopher. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Giraffe. <laughs> Giraffe. Yeah. <laughs> see, I always have her taste it first. You know, kind of like the kings did. That way, if she falls over dead, I'm still alive. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Good stuff, though, isn't it? Very good stuff. If you haven't done so, please like and subscribe. We appreciate it.